subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for ISTQB Certified Tester Test Automation Engineer. So let's get started. Question number 1, What is Automation Testing? Your answer is, automation focuses on replacing manual human activity with systems, or devices that enhance efficiency. Automation testing is the technique of using various types of software tools, or scripts to perform testing tasks such as entering data, executing the test steps, and comparing the results etc. Question number 2, what are the different types of automation testing? Your answer is, different types of test automation are unit tests. GUI tests, and functional tests. 1. Unit tests are usually done during the development phase to reduce the bugs. 2. GUI tests are done at the testing level, where tests are scripted to test how the user interface of an application behaves. 3. Functional tests are also done at the testing level to simulate the functional scenarios to test the application with provided input and for expected output. Question number 3. What is an automated test script? Your answer is, an automated test script is basically a short program which is written in a programming language, to perform a set of instructions on an application. This is done to verify if the application is as per the requirements or not. When you run the script, it gives the test results as pass or fail based on if the application is working as per the expectations or not. Question number 4, what are good coding practices that should be followed while writing test cases for automation? Your answer is, Certain good practices that you should follow when writing test cases are 1. Use comments at the appropriate places. 2. Maintain separate files for reusable functions. 3. Follow coding conventions. 4. Run scripts regularly. Question number 5. What are prerequisites to start automation testing? Your answer is 1. Framework build should always be stable. 2. Use reusable functions and procedures. 3. Store reusable functions in separate files. 4. Filter and segregate the test cases to be automated. 5. Make sure modules doesn't change frequently. 6. Employ skilled and experienced resources. Question number 6. What are the factors that determine the effectiveness of automation testing? Your answer is. The factors that determine the success of automation are. 1. Time saved. 2. Number of defects found. 3. Test coverage. 4. Maintenance time. 5. Installment cost. 6. Test reusability. 7. Quality of software under test. Question number 7. Is it possible to achieve 100% automation? Your answer is. 100% automation is not achievable because there are certain test cases that cannot easily be automated. In such cases, it will take far more effort to write automation tests than it would ever save. For example, checking the background color of a window or dialog box. Well, it would take double the time and effort to create a test case for such a simple task. Manual testing is best in such cases. So, complete automation is not possible. Question number 8. What are some conditions where we cannot consider automation testing? Your answer is 1. When you have ever changing requirements. 2. Exhaustive documentation. 3. One time test cases. 4. Ad hoc testing. 5. Exploratory testing. 6. User interface testing. Question number 9. Can automation testing replace manual testing? Your answer is Automation testing isn't a replacement for manual testing. No matter how good automated tests are, you cannot automate everything. Manual tests play an important role in software development, and come in handy whenever you have a case where you cannot use automation. Automated and manual testing each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Manual testing helps us to understand the entire problem, and explore other angles of tests with more flexibility. On the other hand, automated testing helps save time in the long run, by accomplishing a large number of surface level tests in a short time. Question number 10. Is documentation necessary in automation testing? Your answer is. Documentation plays a very important role in test automation. 
All the methods and procedures that you employ should be documented so that they are repeatable. Test specifications, designs, configurations, code changes, automation plan, test cases listed for automation, bug reports, user manuals should all be documented. Question number 11. Name some popular automation testing tools used worldwide. Your answer is. Some of the most popular automation testing tools include Selenium, Water, RanRx, Appium, UFT, Tosca and SOAP UI. Question number 12. What are the points that are covered while planning phase of automation? Your answer is. 1. Decide the right automation tool. 2. Choose the right automation framework if needed. 3. Define the scope of automation. 4. Plan for test cases and test suites. 5. Identify test deliverables. 6. Set up test environment configurations. Question number 13. On what basis you can map the success of automation? Your answer is. 1. Defect detection ratio. 2. Automation execution time. 3. Reduce in the labor cost. Question number 14. What is the scripting standard while performing automation testing? Your answer is. Uniformity in naming convention, commenting the functionality whenever and wherever necessary, adequate indentation, robust error handling and ability to recover easily are some good practices that you should follow while scripting. Question number 15. Is automation testing a black box testing or a white box testing? Your answer is. Automated testing can be both black, or white box type of testing depending on the scenarios in which automation is performed. It is black box testing as tester usually tests the application, without knowing the low-level design or code of the application. But sometimes, automated test scripts need access to the database details that are used in the application, thus it can be a type of white box testing as well. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.